Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to answer some of the questions that you may have regarding Windows 11. Can you install it? How much does it cost? When is it available? And all those other kind of things. Most of it, if not all of it, will be answered shortly. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we come in straight hot off the heels of the release announcement from Microsoft featuring Panos and his pals. So now we've got a little bit more information. We don't currently have a specific release date that is still to be uh, forthcoming. We do know, however, that next week, this is now currently June the 24th, 2021, just in case you're watching this a little bit later. So next week is when the first release or beta version is gonna be available to Windows Insiders. There will be an image available for download. So if you wanna get involved, you wanna get it before the rest of the curve and you don't wanna download some dodgy leaked ISO, then that is possibly the best way forward. Now joining the Insider program is super, super easy to do. All you need is a Microsoft account, open up your Windows 10 device, go into settings, type in Insider, and you'll find details on how to enroll in the Windows Insider program. Very easy to do, doesn't cost you anything, and then you can choose various levels of your involvement, and you can choose various different rings. There's a fast ring, slow ring, or dev channels, that kind of thing, and then you can get hold of your Windows 11. Although some of you may wish to wait until a little bit later when it's officially released as a retail product, which we currently don't know when that's going to be. They have said the holidays. So I did actually a little while ago say that my, uh, my bets are hedged on it being November the 11th, at probably 11, 11 a.m. But who knows, it may come a little bit sooner, but they did say it for the holidays, and yeah. Obviously Thanksgiving is one of the major holidays in the US, so maybe it will coincide with that. Who knows? So in terms of a specific release date, we don't know. Downloads, again, we don't know. But what we do know is the price, and the price at the moment is completely free. Yay! I guess. So we do have to wait for it, but it is going to be a free upgrade to compatible Windows 10 devices. And obviously, if you're buying a new computer in the run-up to the Windows 11 official release date, then you should find that your PC will be Windows 11 ready. But is your PC going to be Windows 11 ready? So let's head over to the computer. We'll take a look at the Windows website, look through the minimum specification requirements, and also look at some of the other options available. And then I'll show you how to actually make your PC Windows 11 ready if it isn't already. Okay, so this is the uh, the first screen you'll see when you're trying to do a Windows 11 upgrade or find more about it. So this is the website, microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash windows forward slash windows 11. Obviously, if you're in a different region, it will redirect slightly, but this is uh, essentially it. So microsoft.com windows windows 11. You can just find it from the uh, windows 11 logo there if you want to go to microsoft.com. A lot of information on here. You can just scroll down through and see what it looks like. Um, more stuff about the productivity and ways to connect and all that kind of stuff. But the thing that you're probably here for is to find out, can my PC actually run it and when is it available? So the availability, like we said, we're not too sure yet. As it says, Windows 11 isn't here yet, but will be coming later this year. So yeah, we're looking probably around about full time in the US, I'd expect. Uh, but if you're excited, like I am, then there are some things you can do in order to see if the PC is actually ready. So you can check for compatibility. There's an app, we'll show you that in a short while. But here are the minimum system requirements. So the processor is a one gigahertz or faster with a dual core or more on a 64-bit architecture. So it has to be a 64-bit processor, hence the reason why we've got four gigs of RAM listed here. So this is a 64-bit operating system. So you do need a 64-bit CPU and four gigs of RAM. This is gonna count out a lot of those older Windows kind of TV boxes with two gigs of RAM, that kind of thing, and older tablets, which have only got maybe one gig of RAM. There may be ways around that at a later date, but they are suggesting four gigs of RAM is the minimum. So you may find difficulty installing it on lower spec devices. Also, you will need 64 gigs of storage. So again, for some of those older mini Windows PCs that have maybe got a 32 gig eMMC built-in flash storage, that could be problematic. Where most people are gonna fall over is gonna be on the firmware and TPM side of things. So you do require a UEFI BIOS with a secure boot capable system. So that basically means it has trusted platform module version 2.0. If you don't know where that is, we'll show you later on. We'll go into the BIOS on this particular motherboard so you can see how to enable it. 
but TPM is quite an easy thing to enable. Most motherboards which have been built after probably about the last 10 years or so should have TPM. If not, don't worry, you can actually head over to eBay or Amazon and pick up a TPM or trusted platform module add-on for your PC. Again, we'll link all that in the video description should you need it. Graphics card wise, you will need a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card. So it doesn't need to be DirectX 12 in hardware as long as it supports it in software. So most modern graphics cards of the last kind of four or five years, possibly even slightly longer. Display wise, needs a 720p display as the minimum. And it does say it requires an internet connection and a Microsoft account to uh, set up Windows 11 Home. Now, we set up Windows 11, the dev version, didn't require any of that. It allowed me to set up an account with no password, just a username. So yeah, that may change as time goes on. Certainly we'll update it as that happens. But probably what most of you are here is to confirm one way or another, is your PC compatible for Windows 11? So again, we've talked about pricing. So pricing is, it's free, which is always good. This is gonna be very much a similar thing to how Windows 10 came out onto Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 PCs. So you can download the app here for checking compatibility. Um, we'll just open that now, get it installing, accept the licensing conditions and let it install. And you can open up the PC health check and you can add a shortcut to your desktop should you wish to. So if you're not too sure if your PC is gonna do it, then you maybe want a shortcut so you can check again later. So the PC health check brings up your system information can rename your PC, etc. So introducing Windows 11. Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. If it does, you can get the free upgrade when it is available. So that is awesome. Again, installing this actually probably will almost semi-force the upgrade when it is available. So what we'll do is we'll do check now. And there we go. This PC can run Windows 11. Great news, this PC meets all the system requirements for Windows 11 and it's free. We'll let you know when it's ready to install. So yeah, that's awesome. Now, if you've had an issue where it says your PC cannot run Windows 11, it may or may not tell you what the problem is, but there's a very strong possibility it's down to the TPM module on your PC. So let's go into our BIOS and we'll show you where to enable that should you need to. Most systems don't have it enabled as standard. So if you've got a pre-built, Chances are it hasn't been enabled and obviously a off the shelf or custom PC, very unlikely to have it enabled as default. So if you wanna find out how to get into the BIOS, you can either reboot the PC, tap the delete key or F1, F2, whichever is appropriate for your particular motherboard. Or an easier way if you're not too sure is to press and hold the shift key. At the same time, go down to the windows flag, then the power icon and choose restart, all the while holding down the shift key if you hold the shift key for a little while, just keep on waiting, keep holding that shift key and we should get a menu up now. So now we can release the shift key and we've got the options here. So continue, troubleshoot, turn off. We want troubleshoot. Then we can choose advanced options and then UEFI firmware settings. Obviously, if you don't have a UEFI compatible motherboard, then this isn't gonna be applicable and you will not be able to install Windows 11. So that is gonna be answering the question for some of you. For the rest of us, let's uh, click on UEFI firmware settings, and then we get the option to restart and change firmware. So this is basically just taking you into the BIOS, a little bit easier way than just mashing the delete key after rebooting. Although essentially both do the same thing. So here we are in our MSI Click BIOS version five. And as you can see, this is Thursday, the 24th of June, 2021. So make sure if you're watching other people doing the same videos, check out their timestamps. Anyway, I digress. So we want to find our TPM security settings. So go to settings. And in this particular one, it's going to be in security. You may find it in slightly different areas if you're not sure. Head on down to our Discord or uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out. So let's go to security. And we've got trusted computing, which is TPM or trusted computing. Those are the kind of keywords you want to look for. And you're looking for security device support. So we've got here TPM 2.0 device found the firmware version and the vendor. This is all taken care of in the processor on AMD systems and some Intel systems. Uh, so this is our, you'll probably find that yours is set to disable, which is why yours isn't working or it says it's not compatible. So just make sure you go in, choose enable. You've got your, your uh, TPM, make sure it's all enabled. Then you can close down your BIOS. Here it says you, don't, you haven't made any changes because all I've done is turned it off and turned it back on again. You can reboot, go back in, and you should be able to run the checker again, and you should pass with flying colors. 
So there we go, there are some uh, details on Windows 11 and how to get hold of it, how to install it, or how to find it if your PC is actually compatible with it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to leave a like. And also if you want to see more information on Windows 11 as time goes on, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the chime icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. So that leaves me with only one thing to say. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in Windows 11. Thanks for watching.